Hey, great, thank you. Jonathan Rivers, he's the product manager for uh, the new Acura TLX, and like, let's get out of the river back there at the wind. <laughs> it's pretty windy. We're here outside Louisville, Kentucky, and uh, we're here to test drive this. Uh, I mean, it's not a new generation, right? It's like a mid-cycle refresh, what it's called officially. Yes, that's correct. It's uh, what we say a major refresh because we've really done more than you normally would have to do in a vehicle. Yeah, that's bit, interesting so. because that that kind of uh, Refresh is it's becoming more common in the industry because I guess in from one side Technology allows you to move things quicker, but competition pushes you faster to absolutely to do something better, right? Absolutely. So um, let's start with that. Let's start with the competition. Which car is like uh, uh, the TLX are uh, competing against in this segment, which is the mid-size luxury entry sedan? What's yeah. the official name of it? The official name of the segment is called the Entry Premium Segment. And you have competitors such as the Audi A4, the Lexus IS, Infiniti Q50, and BMW 330i. Yeah, pretty tough competition. I mean, those Absolutely. cars, especially the Germans, have been dominating that segment for decades, right? The, by sales volume, that's correct. Yeah. What's, what's new in this car to, to be able to compete with them? So for 2018, um, we've, we have currently a 2.4 liter and a 3.5 liter V6, um, but we've also introduced our new A-Spec trim. Uh, so we'll get to that in a second, but in kind of creating this new trim, we've really tried to create differentiation between the various trims. From, a, from the A-Pillar Ford, the styling is all new for 2018. That's true for all the cars. Yeah. Um, but when you get to the V6, you'll start to notice a lot of things that are new um, that aren't on the 2.4 yeah. liter. So. The new grille started well with the MDX? The MDX was the first one yeah. to take the Diamond Pentagon grille, which we based off of our precision concept, which we showed last year. Yeah, the that was the Detroit or New York? I don't uh, remember It was now. January, so it was Detroit. Detroit, yeah, okay. Yeah. Very, very refined uh, style out there with all these uh, new elements, LED lights and all that. And they also, they're different. This is what the, we are in the... V6 Advance. Advance, and then the A-Spec. They're also different in the front. The lights are different. That's correct. And there's also differentiation in the back, right? That's right. Um, we have our jewel eye LED headlights as standard. That was true on the previous vehicle as well. But um, like you said, the A-Spec has a very sporty appearance, so it has a lot of dark finishes and highlights yeah. uh, to make it stand out versus the standard V6. Both performance-wise, they're the same. Yes, that's correct. Um, per performance, engine performance is the same. And that's what, 290 horsepower? Yes, for a V6, that's correct. And uh, how many uh, feet pounds of torque? 267. Okay. We've done a lot of great sport tuning on the A-Spec. Um, you get a thicker wheel, you get some great highlights um, in the seats, and you also get sport tuning uh, suspension. Obviously this car, I mean, this is the this is not the A-Spec, but you can still, I mean, it has four, four uh, driving modes. That's Echo, correct. normal, sport, and sport uh, plus. Well, why does that change uh, when you press those buttons? Yeah, when you cycle through the different um, driver settings, um, it's changing a lot of things within the vehicle. Um, obviously, when you get to sport and sport plus, you'll see the biggest difference in throttle response, uh, shift mapping, um, gear changes. Uh, when you start to use the paddle shifting on like Sport Plus, it'll actually hold the gear that you're selecting. So um, it just it, it changes the, the the style of the vehicle, and we think the customers really appreciate that because sometimes you know you might just be highway cruising, and therefore econ works really well because yeah. that gives you best you know MPG. But you could be on a back road like we're on now and try Sport Manual, and you know actually change the gears yourselves and. And you'll just notice the vehicles a little yeah, bit Yeah, and uh, enjoy the battle shifters too a little bit, right? Yeah. I mean, that's like something, a little bit of extra control. The sound of the engine, is that uh, that's natural from the engine or there's like some enhancements coming through the cabin? Because like the cabin is super quiet, like, <laughs> like we don't talk, we don't hear anything yeah, from out there. Yeah, we call it noise, vibration, harshness. Um, it's very, very good in the TLX. And the engine sound that we heard just now is actually from the engine, but subsequently, we have what's called active sound control. Um, so what that does is that just basically enhances um, the sound that we're getting. So um, that does come through the speakers in the vehicle. 
and you for the v6 advance and we have an all new 360 degree surround view camera um, so that's great for parking in tight spaces um, that's been a feature a lot of our customers requested we first introduced that you on. can even activate it when you're like driving no only at low speed only oh, okay um, that, that's for safety um, we definitely know yeah want... you don't want to get distracted <laughs> with that I guess huh? exactly but it does give you a top-down uh, view of the vehicle but it also allows you to see directly on either side or oh, we even can try it here let's see here yeah we can go in reverse yep. so that activates the camera there right so you're on the top down 360 degrees and there's different modes to, to see that yeah so if you push in on the enter button here oh here and okay. you can cycle through so since you're in reverse it's giving you a direct rear view camera so you okay. still have that if you hit camera again it's, you giving the distance? You a, it's giving you a wide view now if you were to actually switch into drive it can still give you the bird's eye for even moving forward. Oh, and, and that helps when you're like getting out of a tight space and you don't see the traffic coming from the side and all that. Exactly, and you can still cycle. So you have a direct front camera, and then if you cycle again, you even get sides. Yeah. So it's it's great. Uh, we still have the two two screens here. This is touch screen. This is not. Can you explain a, a little bit why I was the thinking behind all this? Yeah. So we we still um, have our dual screen layout. Um, we call our system ODMD, so it stands for On-Demand Multi-Use Display. Uh, for 2018, we've completely updated um, the system that you see here. Um, it's a new capacitive touchscreen, so it's much more reactive, just like your smartphone. So both uh, hardware and software are updated. Yes, and so we've added uh, XM 2.0, and in doing that, that gives you all of the graphics for the channels that you listen to. Okay. Um, we've completely changed the menus. Um, they're, much better graphics, much faster, much easier to use. Um, you can even tune channels very easily now by just sliding across a oh, tuning yeah. bar. So that's really great for XM. Um, we've updated our HVAC layout. Now it's very easy to cycle through your different seat settings by just um, pressing the same button over and over. You can go through ventilated seats, heated seats. Um, what's also great is we've, um, for the first time, added Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Yeah. And that's actually standard on every TLX now. So um, it's really a great feature. Um, you can actually plug it in. Yeah, we have a new uh, 2.5 amp USB port, so that gives you fast charging and allows you to uh, connect your smartphone for those apps. And uh, Apple CarPlay will display on this screen. Yes, that's right. Um, we can show And then you, you still have access to this screen, which in that way this makes a lot of sense because right. you have one fix there and like this one, you can control all the systems from the car from here. Yeah, let's be sure to show you the update, show you it actually in action. But um, when you have that, like you said, that dual screen setup, it allows you to keep your maps or your apps on the top screen yeah. and still access all of your audio down here. Also for 2018 for the advanced trim, um, we added a lot of great features on the V6. So um, you have a heated steering wheel, heated rear seats, as we mentioned, the 360 degree camera, power folding mirrors, and we've even added wireless charging. So this little pocket down oh, here, okay. yeah, if you have a phone that's capable. Yeah, Apple um, has to catch up with that technology, Yeah, <laughs> with uh, the iPhone 8. Yeah, no, so we're, we're, <laughs> yeah, so we're being proactive. Yeah. Um, but, but again, I mean, we know there's users now that buy um, yeah, the you know, special Samsung, cases, yeah, 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 special cases for their iPhone to use it, and then obviously um, the, the Android Auto phones can use it. So. Okay, so a lot of improvements from uh, design, technology, uh, engineering, and all that. What prices are we talking about? How many variants? Because you have the four-cylinder, all-wheel drive, front-wheel uh, drive. Uh, right? Yeah, we have our 2.4 liter. Um, we have a standard, and then we have our tech package. And then we have our V6. And our V6 um, has a standard, tech, and advanced trim. And new for 2018, we have our A-spec trim. And on any of the V6 models, for an additional charge, you can get super handling all -wheel only on the V6. Only on the V6. Okay, yeah. Yes. What was the, the price range for for the whole uh, line of models? Yeah, so it's great. So our um, 2.4 liter um, now starts at uh, thirty-three thousand dollars US, and um, you can go up to thirty-six thousand seven hundred for the tech package, um, and then we also have um, our V6, um, and the V6 has a price range. Very similar from the low thirty six thousand all the way up to around forty five thousand, depending on yeah. the, the option. For, even package. for the A spec. Right. The A spec is based off of our tech package. Oh so. I see, okay. Mm -hmm. 
So Jonathan, obviously people are gonna ask because Acura at the very beginning was used to be known for NSX, Integra, Legend, all those cars, very sporty. I mean this is 290 horsepower. If you would think like 20 years ago, 290 was a lot. Oh yeah. But nowadays people are like asking always for more. Oh so is there anything I mean like I saw in the MDX that you put the a hybrid system coming from the NSX so Maybe that's like a possibility in the, in the future for this kind of car, like get more, because people are gonna ask for more, all, always, right? Always, always, and hey, we can't blame them. We always, and like you said, that's part of competition yeah. and, and always improving our, our own brand. Uh, ever since we went back to our original, uh, you know, branding of precision crafted performance, we've kind of changed our direction. And like you said, you saw that in the all new uh, yeah. supercar, the NSX, uh, MDX Sport Hybrid. And I think today, you know, you see it with the, with the new 2018 TLX and A-Spec package. So always more to come. Acura again, like it's it, it for a while, it was just like blending in with with uh, with the competition. But now it's like moving ahead with like very very fast with a lot of new products. So the NSX started like what two years ago, right? Yeah, uh, you work on that, right? You yeah, were in charge of that too. Yeah, I also worked on that when I was in R and D, yeah. and uh, yeah, it's a great project, great vehicle. So a a NSX, MDX, TLX, new. So the next one must be the RDX, right? Which is coming up soon, I guess. I, I can't comment on future <laughs> products at this moment, but yeah. uh, I just hope if you like the direction we're going, then you're going to be very No, definitely. Happy. I mean, it's been a change and, and, and a very welcome. I mean, obviously, Acura has a lot of fans here in the U.S. and all around the world. Yeah, I know. Thank and you. if we have to be honest, for a while, it wasn't there. I mean, like, but now I can see it coming back. So thanks to in part of your job, engineering, design, everything is coming together. And like by the leadership of John, Yep. Yeah, that who was uh, an engineering uh, before, right? He yeah, was, uh, he was doing design. I mean, he he he's drawn and sketched a lot of great vehicles in our, our uh, history. So yeah. to have him at the forefront, um, yeah, there's a lot of great things to come. Excellent. Thank you very much again. Appreciate and we're it. gonna Thank keep you. enjoying the the weather here in uh, Louisville, Kentucky. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Take care.